Please welcome Clark College President Bob Knight. Please think about the word promise for a moment. A promise is a commitment that you will do something or that you will not do something. When you make a promise, there's usually an expectation that you'll improve or succeed. There's a promise of achievement and excellence. Today I want to talk about promises. Last fall, nearly 16,000 students attended Clark College. The number of full-time equivalent students, we call them FTEs, was 10,332. That was a 2% increase from the previous fall. This quarter, our enrollment is up 1% from last winter. Just a few years ago, as our college celebrated our 75th anniversary, the state of Washington provided 61.6% .6 of our total operating budget. One year later, state funding had declined to 52.5%. It's now 41.5% and will likely drop below 40% by the end of the academic year. Instead of being state supported, Clark is now state assisted. Many of our operational funding comes from sources other than the state. Many of those dollars come from our students now. In the past three years, our students have experienced tuition increases of 7%, 7%, and 12%, and they're scheduled to have another tuition increase next year of another 12%. We know that the impact of tuition increases and more student loans is, is devastating. How can we break that cycle? Today, with support of the Clark College Foundation, we are making a new promise, a Penguin promise. One hour ago, we signed an agreement that provides a path for some members of the Boys and Girls Club to enter and complete their education at Clark College. It is called Penguin Promise. If we succeed in getting community support, a pilot program will begin this fall. Up to 25 students will be accepted the first year. We envision students entering the program in 8th grade and continuing through 12th grade. During this time, the Boys and Girls Club will provide mentoring and programs to help these students learn, strive, and achieve their educational goals. Once they are admitted to Clark College, these students will receive scholarships for tuition, fees, and books. They will also each have a program mentor. This quarter we introduced new transfer degree program in health informatics te um, information technology. Today's health care professionals need to keep pace with today's technology. That's the focus of this program. Speaking of today's technology, we now offer new degrees in graphic design and we have updated our degree program in web design and development. We have just finished an articulation agreement with Eastern Washington University. It identifies 11 associate degrees in career and technical education where our students now qualify for the Bachelor of Science degree in technology program at Eastern Washington. One of our new program uh, stems from our partnership with Peace Health Southwest Washington Medical Center. It's funded by a $200,000 grant. It will allow Peace Health workers to take classes at the medical center to be trained as Washington State certified nursing assistants. It will give them the next step toward careers including medical and surgical technology, registered nursing, and emergency medical services. One of our most popular services is our book rental program. As you know, books are extraordinarily expensive. Last year, our bookstore offered 21 textiles for rent. That translated into 1,200 rental books. This fall, the program expanded to include 180 textbook titles and 75 calculators. In fall quarter alone, our students rented more than 3,000 books and saved more than $150,000. In the past few years, as state funding has decreased and the economic crisis took hold, our full-time enrollment jumped from 8,800 students to nearly 11,000 students. As we trim our class offerings, we see the frustrations when students aren't able to get the classes they want and need. This keeps students from moving forward as quickly as they could. And we know that there are discussions about deeper cuts. Governor Chris Gregoire recommended an additional 13% budget cut for higher education. 
At Clark, that would translate into a loss of an additional $3 million. But because our students will be paying more in tuition, that cut will be a net of about $2 million. These are tough times, and we are not asking for a budget increase. However, more cuts will impact our ability to train the skilled workforce that Washington needs to drive our economic recovery. In her budget proposal, Governor Gregoire suggested offsetting the budget cuts to higher education and K-12 and public safety through a temporary one-half cent increase in the sales tax. That increase would end in 2015. If you share our belief that this is a wise investment in our state, we hope that you will let your voice be heard. We are asking our community once again honor that promise. We're asking you to do everything you can to support the dream of higher education in Southwest Washington. It's a promise to do whatever it takes to help us survive as we emerge from the Great Recession. It's a promise to help us ensure that our children, our grandchildren, know with certainty that they can attend college, graduate, and lead rich and meaningful lives. That's not only a Penguin promise, it's a promise of a bright future for our region for generations to come. Thank you very much.